Hi and welcome to our brief introduction to IQF. In this episode I'll be talking about fluidization in a freezer. IQF is a known technology used for freezing products such as vegetables, fruit, berries, seafood, meat, pasta or even dairy. This is the most common method to achieve a high quality result even after defrosting. Here is a block of frozen product and here is a well separated frozen product. So what makes the difference? Fluidization is the answer. Fluidization is making the product act as a fluid with the help of an upward air stream. The concept is pretty similar to an air hockey game where air lifts a puck that moves over the table. This ensures the separation of the product during the freezing. To understand fluidization, the region around the product is where we must look. Most traditional IQF freezers use a metal belt to transport and fluidize the product. But when we talk to frost, we use a bed plate instead and we see a number of advantages doing so. So, in general, we want to achieve a perfectly separated frozen product. To achieve this, there are a few things we need to avoid. One thing is uh, too little movement where the product lies still. Uh, and secondly, too much movement where the, where the air lifts the product with too much and can damage the product or product can even fly away from the product zone. And thirdly, in general, too little movement that can create small clumps or even belt marks to the product from the belt. We see four main elements influencing fluidization. First one is the airflow and the air pressure created by the fans, which can be regulated. Secondly, the bed plate configuration, the thickness, the size of holes, the number of the holes, and also the material of the bed plate. Uh, thirdly, the motion of the plate, which can be symmetric or asymmetric agitation and also vibrating. And uh, the product itself with the size and the shape of the product, the surface water and water content, but also how firm it is due to different ripeness degree. So this was a brief introduction into fluidization in the freezer. In the next episode, I'll be talking more about how we at Octofrost balance those four elements to achieve the best frozen product. Thank you for listening and see you next time.